they're on their way down. Into line, left, turn. Stand out, east. <laughs> I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost, from the spring of the water of life. Those who are victorious will inherit all this, and I will be their God, and they will be my children.
quickly before I read out the names of the fallen, I have to tell you that I was 18 in 1946 when the war finished and therefore I saw no, no, saw no conflict. I appear here every year reading out the names of others and I think that you ought to know why I don't stand with the others. I'll read out the names now of those persons from this village and surrounds who, who fell in the First World War. If I can see it, read it. Henry Adamson, Harold Baker, Frank Benger, Albert and William Bird, William was only 16 when he lost his life, so he must have been one of those that put their names up to join their mates on the front. Ronald Birkinshaw, Arthur Blake from Delroy Cottages, Peg Marlene. George Brewer, Arthur Burnell, who died just before the war finished. The family lived up the top of the village up here. Stanley Beale Camp and Ted Camp, the two brothers, they were left. Landor Cottages across there in 19. 13, 14, Stanley fell on the song in May 15, Ted nearly saw the war out having fallen on the 19th October 1918, Charlie Cavell, Thomas Charles and Baptist Green, Alec Cook, Alan, Alan Cook, lost on the Dardanelles, the Morden School Gardens. Horace Davidson, Norman Dick, George Eames from this village. William Everett from the Crescent opposite Oldham Church. I remember his brother who was blinded with mustard gas, tapping his way around Oldham Church in the 1930s. Charlie Flux, the Flux family lived in the cottage in the entrance to, back to, excuse me, Pickett's Manor, or back to Vedenta Manor as it's known today. Charlie Flux was one of the first casualties, all new casualties, lost on HMS Cressy. September 1914. Herbert Ford, Robert Ford, Ronald Gibbs, he was one of the first soldier casualties. He was a lieutenant of the Scots Guards, and lost his life in the Mon, the fighting in, on at Mons. Walter Keane, from the family of butchers at the top of the village. We have a large plaque outside the house now. Arthur Kekovic, Peter Kent, Walter Larkin. The, there was a Larkin family living in the back lane. Bernard Lee from Pegmire Lane, Fred Molino, John Neal, Sidney Rowland, Ernest Scott, Reginald Shepherd. Now the names of those from the Second World War. Can't remember the Christian. Oh, 
Alfred Pemberton Powers, William Craig, Denzel Lavore Priest, Leslie Pritchard, the Pritchards lived in Back Lane. The name of the house there at the moment is uh, uh, some, what's it called? Uh, it's not the name of that, that in those days. I think, I think in those days it was called uh, Connected with Alden School. But I can't remember the name now. Leslie Pritchard, he was, so he would have been, enjoyed a pint with everybody here today, but he, he was selected with his sharpshooters, the Royal Rifle Corps, to defend the perimeter of Dunkirk. Lastly, Leslie Field from Two Holmes Cottages, down the end there, and Alfred Kitchen, flying officer Alfred Kitchen, whose husband Edgar is still here today. Flying officer Alfred Kitchen, the FC, who lost, was lost in his fight upon the mosquito off the coast of Holland. Thank you. They shall not grow old as we who are left grow old. rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you forever. Amen.
Oh,